Thank everyone for their patience. We had some technical difficulties with sound. However, here we are from the Pfizer Forum as the West Bend West Spartans in the Milwaukee Bucks Prep Series here in downtown Milwaukee as the Spartans, as you see in the white and light blue, taking on a Washington County rival in the Key Wascom Indians. West Bend West at a record of one and seven, trying to get their first conference win.
in a non-conference matchup. They were 1-7 overall, 0-7 in the North Shore Conference as the Indians come in with a 4-5 record. Indians you see in the gray and the green out of just to the north at Key Wascom. 4-5 record on the season so far. It's been a interesting day here in Milwaukee as we have several events happening. The Bucks will be playing here today as the Spartans get the rebound and will push. Spartans are coming off of a pretty hard loss to Cedarburg, trying to recover in North Shore Conference play. As Lucas Broski with the touch. Current score is two to two with a 12-37 remaining as we have a whistle and a foul against Kiwaskum. Or contact to the head. Let's wait for the signal from the official. As we have a missed free throw. That's Chase Melstrom at the line, the senior. And missed another one. Kiwaska will grab the rebound. Kiwaska with a, a set of brothers at the top as Mike Wallace stripped it loose. It's out of bounds. Indians ball. And it'll stay with Alex the Indians. The Alex Ean checks in. Not. Wallace with the steal, goes coast to coast, and gets the roll. Emmanuel Wallace, his brother Mike Wallace, by Miss Columbo is actually a, a Spartan himself. Graduated about a season ago. Giyoskum now trailing 4-2, trying to get something going here. Loose Wallace will grab it for the Spartans. And the Spartans will reset Broski with a touch. Broski will take his dribble. No baseline there. Spin move by Broski off the glass is not going to go. And it's a Kiwaskum rebound. Brought in by Tori Ralph. And Kiwaskum will push it out. Ralph now with it on the point. He'll take his dribble, guarded close by Tennis. Bounce pass over Ty Cook. Cook giving signals. Pretty decent crowd here in the bowl of the Pfizer Forum. For a high school game between two local schools as Cook with the push inside. Contact, no whistle, but he got the bucket and that's what counts. It's a 4-4 game with 10.48 remaining in the first half. Wallace. Pass up ahead. Ian with the basketball, gave it over to Broski. Broski's three is tipped loose. It'll be brought in by Key Wascom. Joe Boker with the tip away. Ralph, to Ty Cook. Boker looking inside to Joe Mark Boker and dribble off his own foot. Indians ball. Indians will maintain possession. Checking in Isaiah Cochran for John Mark Boker. And Melstrand gets a break. Coming in is Joe Boker, the three Boker brothers. Josh, John Mark, and Joe. And we have a foul on the Spartans. They're gonna get Ian for it. And 
we have an air Joseph ball. Booker at the line, shooting two. Joe Booker with the miss. And missed the second one. Rebound brought in by Jack Miller. Ian. A give and go to Miller. Miller bobbled it. Ball's on the floor. Wallace trying to get it loose, and he traveled in his effort to squirm free of a jump ball. Traveling. Possession. Indians. And the Indians will get it, and a press is on from the Spartans. And a quick timeout called by Tori Ralph. At the Oostburg High Holiday Tournament, they defeated Mayville 66 to 56. Lost to Oostburg on the second day of the tournament. That was Saturday, December 28th. 61-46, the final there. Since then, they've now are now on a three-game losing streak. 61-46 against Kettle Marine Lutheran and 58 to 33 loss against Plymouth. We're coming in today to take on the Spartans as they go to the press breaker. Put in to Joe Booker. And Tori Ralph will bring it up. Over to Ty Cook. Looking inside, Antoine Coleman fall. Chance for a three ball from Isaiah Cochran off the side of the rim. Tracked down by Jack Miller, and here come the Spartans. Broski off the outlet, missed it. Here been brought in by Isaiah Cochran. Coming inside, Isaiah Cochran blocked by Borowski, using the height, swats it out of bounds. We got ourselves a ball game here, tied four apiece, 9-12 to go in the first half. Once again, I apologize for technical difficulties, we had no, uh, no audio. Not that anyone turns in for my voice in particular, but here to guide you through the action, I'm Nathan Kerner, as Joe Booker goes underneath and draws the foul, so they're gonna get Emmanuel Lewis for it. Wallace, that's his first. First on Wallace, second. team second. So, so far a clean game, two fouls apiece on both teams. As Joe Booker misses again. And Joe Booker puts it in. Makes it a 5-4 game. Kowalski with the lead, 9.03 left in the first half as Wallace brings it up. Tennis on the dribble. Kick out. Jack Miller on the dribble, slows it up. Over to Ean. Trying to avoid the dribble, kicks it out to Aaron Tennis. Out to Wallace. Wallace on the attack, jump stop, goes up, draws contact, no whistle, rebound brought in by Chase Melstrin. He's fouled and he will shoot too. Indian foul on Tory Ralph, his second. We're going to get Tory Ralph for his second. Chase Melstrin at the line, he'll shoot And twice. team's third, and Chase Melstrin will take the shots. Lucas Broski returns from Miller. He took a brief break in the timeout. And in it is. Bring it up, Tory Ralph. Goes to the baseline, managed to find Cochran. Drive coming in, Ty Cook, missed rebound, Broski the rebound goes, outlet the tennis. And we have a foul going up, and it's an offensive foul. Tennis went right through Ty Cook, who took the charge. We are tied at five with 8.05 to go. Indians ball. 
So press is on once again for the Spartans. Press breaker out as Ty Cook will get the inbound pass. A bit of a matchup as Ralph brings it across the timeline to Isaiah Cochran. Cochran finds a cutter in Ty Cook. Up top, Joe Booker across to Antoine Coleman Fall. Cook, couple dribbles over to Joe Booker. Back up top, Cochran. Tory Ralph dribbled up his own foot, keeps it live. Booker swing pass over to Cochran. Walsh cuts off the baseline. Good defense here by the Spartans, keeping everything interesting. Three ball on the way for Ty Cook. That's a miss, chasing it down is Chase Melstrand. Broski to Melstrand. And we have a travel underneath by Melstrand. Indians ball. Well, the Spartans need weight replacing Aaron Tennis. Also landed dot for Chase Melstrand. Nate Waite checks in. Easy press breaker here as Tory Ralph brings it up. We have an illegal screen call against the Indians. Indian foul on Joseph Booker, his second. They're going to get Joe Booker for his first team's fourth. Emmanuel Wall also bring it up. Touch here, Landon Dot. Gives it to Nate Wake and right back to Dot. Dot off the dribble, up top, Broski in the high post, will dribble in, kick out to Wallace. Wallace right back to Broski, posting up. Goes up with the left hand, missed it. Here I'm brought in by Tori Ralph. Ralph slows it up, goes over to Cochran. Over to Cook. Ty Cook gets the screen and roll, goes all the way in, and they got Broski on the steps. So it'll be a blocking foul. Spartan foul on Lucas Broski. That's his first team fourth. It's the first on Broski. Team's fourth, and we have a player slow to get up after the contact, and that's Ty Cook. And they go waiting for the sub to come in for the injured. That is Mike Daniel checking in. Going to the line will be Daniel. It's an unusual thing because Ty Cook was the shooter on the fouls, which means this, for the rare occasion the sub will have to shoot. As Ty Cook is going to go see the trainer to see if he is shaken up. And he can just shake it off and get back in there as the first free throw goes from Daniel. And a miss in the second one inside of six minutes. And Wallace wasn't expecting the pass back as Tennis tracks it down. Dot with the basketball, looking inside for some cutters. Over to Tennis, Tennis fakes the three, gutter close by Ralph in traffic. Tennis takes it in. 7-6 as the lead changes yet again. Spartans the home team on the scoreboard here at the Pfizer Forum. In case for those of you just joining us wondering why it looks so odd here, this is not the Acuity Fieldhouse. This is in fact the Pfizer Forum part of the prep series hosted by the Milwaukee Bucks in downtown Milwaukee as Aaron Tennis trying to make a show. Four straight points for Aaron Tennis. And he puts his team up by three, nine, six. 4.55 to go in the first half. For those of you who just joined, just joining us, we had some technical difficulties earlier. We apologize to everyone watching from the get and go. Some trouble getting the audio up, but the audio is now up. Isaiah Cochran tries a long two off the side of the rim. Put back Tory Ralph will go. Lead is cut to one, 4.36 to go.
Nate Wake on the touch, goes in the dot, back out to Wake. Three ball on the way from Tennis, he's feeling it. Yes, he is. He has scored seven straight points on the three straight possessions for the Spartans. Extends the lead out to 4, 12, 8, 4, 14 until halftime. Underneath, Mike Daniel takes it underneath. Couldn't get the roll. Nice move, but he gets a second opportunity on the broken up rebound. And the lead's cut to 2, 12, 10. Dot skids to a stop. Spartans trying to push some tempo here. Broski stop and pop off the side of the rim, but Joe Booker unable to bring it in and lets it fall out of bounds. Subs coming in, we have Ryan Cook coming in for Isaiah Cochran and Kale Franzen giving a break to Tory Ralph and Chase, Chase Melstrin coming back in, it will land in dot. Giving some time as the sub here as the Spartans. Their only win this year coming against South Milwaukee Tell you about that in just a minute as inbound pass coming from Nate Wake. Tapped out of bounds by Cochran. He saved it. Tennis tries another three. His first miss in, uh, for three straight attempts were successful. Daniel over to Ryan Cook. Kale Franzen up top to Coleman Thal. Cross, Ryan Cook goes underneath to Coleman Fall. Goes up high and off the glass. We are tied at 12. Spurs out tied at 12. 316 remaining in the half. The Spartans one win, a 50 to 28 effort against Milwaukee South. As Tennis backs it up. 303 now, Broski posting up against Coleman Fall. Underneath, draws the foul, can't complete it, but he'll shoot two. Spartans only win at the Nicole Ellis Classic at Mesmer High School, defeating West Milwaukee South 50 to 28 as Broski will shoot. Lucas Broski put up a 21 point performance in that contest. 10 points from Aaron Tennis. Tennis last year was a member of the All North Shore Conference team, an honorable mention. Broski's second shot doesn't go. Long rebound is brought in by Ryan Cook. One point lead for the Spartans 13 12, 255 to go to halftime. And Emmanuel Wallace, great steal, transition, over through tennis. Can he save it? He can't get there, just a step ahead of him. Indians ball. Brilliant opportunity there created by Emmanuel Wallace, but he overthrew the pass. We have a sub coming in, it's like John Mark Booker. We'll be checking in. For the Indians, John Mark Booker. And John Mark Booker is fouled from behind, breaking the press. Spartan foul on Emmanuel Wallace. They'll get Wallace second. for his second. Team's fifth. Team's fifth, 239 to go. So, so far, a fairly clean game. For the Spartans, Alex Ean. As Ean jumps in. Wallace. Indians ball. Two thirty-seven to go. Touch here by Franzen. Cross Ryan Cook. Now Mike Booker facing up. <laughs> Franzen almost had stolen. Picked up his dribble. Goes to Ryan Cook. Back out the Franzen. Good perimeter defense so far. Here's John Mike Booker on the turnaround, and Kiwaskum has the lead back. Tennis for three in response, knock it down, and the lead changes just like that. And we have a timeout called by Kiwaskum to talk it over as the 
Spartans are now up 16-14. Indians led by the Booker brothers. Particularly Josh Booker and John Mark Booker, 17.8 and 13.5 points per game respectively. John Mark also got 7.6 rebounds per game, 7.2 for Josh. John Marcus Sr. stands six foot four. And Josh also the senior, the twins. Cross over there as a nice take. From Lucas Bauman. Bruce checked in, Curtis Holbrook. Had some quality minutes last year as one of the extra bigs. Nice look underneath, and Aaron Tennis will get the end one. They're gonna get Lucas Bauman for it. Tennis makes it a two point game yet again after the tie. 18 16, a chance to make it a three point game. Three balls, not really. Kiwanskum's strength at the moment. Tennis's three-point play is good. For the Spartans, Emmanuel Wallace for Aaron Tennis. Wallace will also come in to give Tennis a break. 104 to go to halftime, so we'll have a break here coming in a minute. And the team want to take full timeouts for a good chunk of this half. Franzen over to Bauman. Bauman on the dribble. Tanner Bronk is in there. Recently checked in. And we're gonna have a whistle. See who this is against. Be Nolan Prescott. Checked in at last stoppage. Kyle Heff checking in. Once again, good perimeter defense so far by the Spartans. At a swipe there by Curtis Holbrook. But we'll have a shooting foul coming up here for the Indians with 30 seconds remaining. Spartan foul on Curtis Holbrook is first. Team seven. First and Holbrook, team Bauman seven. That'd be bonus after that if it wasn't a shooting foul. So Bauman will shoot. First one's good, cuts the lead to two, 19-17. Second one will go. Three quarter press on, but half hearted, 24 seconds, so we'll see if the Spartans decide to go for last shot. Lewis. Gives it over to Brad Weber. Spin move, missed it. Weber fighting for it. Ball still loose. Last touch by the hustle of Tanner Brunk. There's the lob into Weber. 12 seconds. And Weber spun around and traveled. So the Indians will now have a last opportunity. 9.6 to go, so the Spartans will put the press back on. Pushing it up, four seconds remaining. Spartans with a stop up ahead. Chance for Weber from half court. Too strong and off the shot clock. Probably his first shot off the shot clock, so we'll take a break. The Spartans managing to get a lead here, but it's tenuous. We got ourselves a ball game. It is the West Bend West Spartans 19, the Kiwaskum Indians 18. You are watching high school basketball from the Pfizer Forum on West Bend Community TV. Returning to action here from the Pfizer Forum. Spartans leading, the West Bend West Spartans leading by a score of 19 to 18 over the Kiwaskum Indians. Spartans going with Dot Broski. Nate Wake, 
Chase Melstrand and Aaron Tennis on the court. And a quick strike from Tanner Antoine Brunk. To be Antron Coleman Fall. Makes it a 2019 game in favor of the Indians, just like that. Dot up top. Brosky gets underneath from Tennis. Draws the foul and count it. And the lead goes right back to the Spartans. They lead 21-20, 17-21 remaining in regulation. They're going to get Antoine Coleman Fall, his second team's first of the new half. That'll put Broski to the line. Broski tracks down the long rebound. Dot looking inside, gives it. Melstrand on the dri dribbled off someone's foot. Kiwaskum insisting he dribbled off his own foot. The referee says he dribbled off an opponent's foot. Dot will inbound it. In it goes to Melstrand. Thought about going underneath the wake, passed on it. And going underneath was Dot who had stripped loose. Here come the Indians in response, the chance to take the lead back. Tory Ralph put it through the middle, got tapped away. Ty Cook comes up with it. Stripped from Cook from behind. Ball still loose. It is Spartan ball. Both teams loving to contest as best they can. Both teams need to protect the ball better as dribbling it up is Nate Wake. Dot. Dabrowski outside the pro three-point arc. A lot of ball movement here as here's Tennis looking inside. Finds Melstrand, fights his way in there for the bucket. And the Spartans take a three-point lead, 23-20, 16-20 to go. Spartans trying to find that second win of the season. It's been some hard goings here in with the coaching change and whatnot. And we have a follow underneath as head coach Kyle Matanier trying to get a handle for what he has here. Former assistant under last head coach Todd Pizzora as Dot is called for his first foul and the team's first of the new half. Coleman falls free throw off the front of the rim. Both teams struggling from the free throw line. And Coleman Fall makes the second one, cuts the lead to two with 16-04, 23-21. Tennis will bring it up for the Spartans. One little run here by the Spartans can really uh, Change the face of this game as Tennis will take it himself. Kicks it off to Broski. Nice move. Broski can't finish. Gets his own rebound. Stripped loose by Coleman Fall. We have a foul on the floor. Question is against who? I believe it's going to go against. It's going to be Coleman Fall. He doesn't believe it. Indian foul on Antoine Coleman Fall. That's his third. That's his third. Second. Team second. We have a timeout on the floor called by the Spartans. We'll take a break with the players. You are watching high school basketball from the Pfizer Forum on West Bend Community TV. Tennis will inbound the ball. Lobs it into Broski. Broski in traffic, gets rid of it. Tennis for three. Bounces around, no good. And Mike Daniel brings it in, and we have a whistle. Stoppage of play as they're trying to check to see if it looks like Broski. I think they're wondering if he's all right. So back we go, 15-37 remaining. Spartans still only leading by two. Ty Cook on the dribble. Looks like an extended 2-3 zone being played by the, the Spartans as the ball goes underneath and missing is John Mark Booker. We have a foul underneath. This is gonna go against the Spartans. Indeed, they're going to get Landon Dot for it. His second team, second of the half. Ball's inbounded to Ty Cook. 
Facing a double team, strip loose. Good hands there by Dot. And now Dot going the distance. Too strong off the glass. The putback doesn't go either for Melstrin. And bringing it back is Daniel up ahead. Finds John Mark Booker. Nice move to the inside. We're tied. 23 apiece. Brasky goes baseline, kick out. Look for Wake for three. Doesn't beat the bounce. And we have a floose ball foul. This one will go against the Spartans. They're going to get Melstrand for it. His first team's third. Ian will come in to give Dot a break at the 14.42 mark. We're tied at 23 apiece. Oscom, we're going to get the lead back. They led very briefly at the beginning of this half. Underneath goes Mike Daniel. Nice move to the inside, and there it is. 25-23. Wake. Across to Ean. Broski along two. Yup, we're tied again. 25 apiece, 14 minutes to go. Broski. With the dribble, Ty Cook goes over to Tori Ralph. Mike Daniel over to Antoine Coleman Thal. Coleman Thal will swing it. John Mark Booker off the dribble, gives it to Daniel. Daniel gets a screen from John Mark and brings it out. John Mark and goes. <laughs> Mike Daniel slipped and fell. Picked up Ian on the two on one, goes across the tennis, and the Spartans have the lead back. And we have a whistle. And the officials are conferring at half court. I wonder what this is about. The official who's back is to the camera was speaking to Lucas Prosky before. I wonder if it was a delay a game. Manuel Wallace back in. Wake gets a break. Coleman Thal over to Joe Mark Booker. Underneath to Ty Cook. Takes a dribble, picked it up a little earlier to John Mark. Underneath, he was rejected. Chase Melstrom went up with him and knocked it out of bounds. 13.01 remaining. Spartans lead by two, 27-25. John Mark Booker with the basketball goes over to Ty Cook. Cook with the dribble. We'll bring it around underneath. Coleman Thal takes his dribble underneath again. Has to go back out. Here's John Mark Booker for three. Long bounce. Mike Daniel brings it in. Second opportunity for the Indians. Ralph, John Mark Booker will try again. This time in the lane. Ties it at 27 a pop. John Mark Booker. And the team really able to seize the advantage here. It's been tit for tat for pretty much the entire half. Wallace over to Melstrand. Gives it to tennis now. Voids the corner, goes out to Ean. Wallace with the dribble, to tennis. Spartans trying to find something inside. They will go inside to Melstrand. Stripped loose by John Mark Booker. And a chance to take the lead here for the Indians. 11.56 remaining. Ralph, stop and start. Hesitation move. Count. Counted on the foul. And the lead goes back to Kawasam just like that. You get Ian for his second team's fourth. So Ralph can make this a three point game. It's coming back in quickly is Dot. Ah. 
for the Spartans, Jack Miller for Alex Ean. Jack Miller coming in for Ean. And a three was a response by Aaron Tennis. We're tied all over again, 30 apiece. India's trying to take the lead back here as Daniel goes underneath. John Mark Booker goes straight up and gets the bucket. John Mark Booker. Can the Spartans respond? They've been going, like I said, tit for tat the entire game. Tennis drives in, takes it himself. Yep. Off the glass, Aaron Tennis. Playing a big game in a big arena. And a steal. Getting a piece of it was Melstra. Now Broski back the other way. John Mark Booker. And they're going to get Broski for running over. Ty Cook. A little too excited there. Stop the clock with 10.44 remaining. That's the second on Broski team's fifth. So a lot more fouls this half for the Spartans. Joe Booker comes in for Tory Ralph. Attempt to go a little bigger here. Two of the Ralph brothers out there and Antoine Coleman Thaw out there. Running the point will be Mike Daniel. John Mark Booker goes in to Joe. Joe has to kick it out and he traveled. Bumped into the defender and took an extra step before he could get rid of it. Ten twenty-five remaining. We're tied at thirty-two. Broski looking inside finds Melstrand. Melstrand has to kick it out. Broski with the ball fake takes it low to the baseline, off the glass, bad angle. Ball still loose. John Mark Booker brings it in. Floyd's falling out of bounds. He gives it to Ty Cook. Ten minutes remaining. Ty Cook slows it down. Over to John Mark Booker, looking inside. Takes a dribble. Ty Cook calling out a play. Steal there by Chase Melstrand. Slows it down, the defenders come. Just keeps it, gets away to tennis. Wallace fakes it inside, back out to tennis. Tennis, ball fake, goes underneath. Jack Miller, stripped loose going up, gets it back. It was the Wallace in the back door cut. Now Miller for three. Off the side of the rim. Miller gets his little rebound, and he traveled that time. You can't pass it to yourself. 9.06 remaining in the game. We're tied at 32 uh, as is the situation. Not a high scoring game. Broski gets a break as Landon Dot comes in. Smaller lineup out there. Ryan Cook coming in for Mike Daniel. So it's Ty Cook, Ryan Cook, John Mark and Joe Booker and Coleman Thal out there for the Indians. Spurs going with Tennis, Wallace, Dot, Miller, and Melstrand. Underneath, Ryan Cook. Can't tell if there was a shot or a pass, but either way, it didn't work. Wallace comes up with the loose ball. Up ahead to Tennis. Tennis will take it underneath. Got bumped, no whistle, but he got the bucket, and that's what counts. And just like that, the Spartans have the lead back. Eight nineteen to go. Spartans lead by two. Underneath posting up is Joe Booker. Underneath, too strong. Loose ball picked up by Jack Miller. And the Spartans can now push up ahead. Melstrand gives it to Wallace. 
Now Miller. Off the screen, Melstrin. Swung over, Miller. Chance for Dot. Nice move inside, too strong. And we're gonna have a loose ball foul as Chase Melstrin put the hand in the small of Joe Booker's back. Second, team six. Lucas for Brosky returns for Melstrand. A little added height there. Presses on. Spartan still leads. 7.44 to go. It's a two-point game. Radcook gets a screen. Avoids the steal. John Mark Booker for a long two. Got it. We're tied at 34. 7.22 to go. Broski goes underneath, gets fouled going up. Force Joe Booker to come over the top. Indian foul on Joseph Booker. That'll put Broski to the line. Clock reads 7.16. Broski to the line. He'll shoot two. Broski makes the first one, and the Spartans get the lead back. 35 to 34. Wake returns for Miller. Extra point, and there it is. A two-point lead for the Spartans. See how long this lasts. Says no lead has lasted terribly long in this half. Ty Cook to Ryan Cook. Up his dribble a little early. He's got to get rid of it. Over to Joe Booker. Ty Cook yet again. Backs it up. Got her close by Wake. Ty Cook takes it off the front of the rim. Wallace tracks it down. Up ahead. Wake puts it in. Tennis fade away. Gets his own rebound. Goes back up. Too strong. Ball still loose. It'll be. They're going to say it was off. Antoine Coleman fall. I'm not sure I agree with the call. I'm going to say he came over the top and slapped it out. And a quick council of officials reverses the call. It'll be Indians ball after all. 6.36 to go. And Tennis knocked it out of bounds. Tennis wanted to say it was last touched by Ty Cook. Once again, I think the officials made the right call in this case, giving it to Kowaskum, just from my angle. He needed the chance to tie or take the lead depending on the shot. 6.25 to go. Jamar Booker goes underneath the Ryan Cook and we are tied. 36 a pop, 6.10 to go. Burns to take the lead again. Here's tennis, and he does. Thirty-eight to thirty-six, the score. Five forty-five remaining. Ty Cook on the hesitation stops, goes underneath. Coleman fall, pass up top, and Joe Booker threw it away right to tennis. Five and a half remaining in the game. Spartans trying to hang on to win their second win of the season in a game where no lead has lasted terribly long. Dot. Here's Tennis on inside, Broski posting up. Over two defenders, can't roll it in. And the rebound secured by Ty Cook, transition. Wallace poked it loose, Tennis comes up with it. Up ahead, Broski. Too strong. Broski still fighting for it, gets a second opportunity, skip pass, dangerous pass, Tennis comes up with it. Inside of five minutes now. Interesting sequence of events, that. Tennis gets it from Broski on the cutter. Stripped loose by Coleman Thull. Slowing it down is Ryan Cook. Cook trying to get it inside of the post. John Mark Booker. The Joe Booker. 
Long rebound. Ty Cook slapped it loose, hopping over him was Nate Wake. Wake gets it to half court. And the Spartans will take a timeout to talk it over with 424. Can they hold on to this very tenuous two-point lead to finish out the game? It'll be a full timeout. We'll take a break with the players. You are watching High School Basketball from the Pfizer Forum on West Bend Community TV. 424 remaining, the Spartans up 38-36, trying to get their second win of the season in a game where no lead has lasted for more than a minute and 20. Drawing the ball right now is Wake. It's Wake, Dot, Wallace, Broski, and Tennis on the court. And a bad, I don't know if it was a bad pass or just Wake wasn't ready for it, but they threw it out of bounds and now a chance for Key Wascom trailing by two to even it up or take the lead. The nine team has shot the three very, very often or very, very well here today. I have to imagine they'll go for the tie. Pushing it up, Joe Booker. Picked up his dribble a little early, gets it to Ty Cook. Inside of four minutes now. Mike Daniel, over to Lucas Bauman. Checked in at the break. And Bauman, and we have a foul underneath. I believe it's gonna be a legal screen call. They're gonna get Mike Daniel for it. He needs going with Ty Cook, Lucas Bauman. John Mark and Joe Booker. And Mike Daniel for their lineup. 3.38 to go. Spartans still lead by two. Broski looking inside. Goes to Tennis, who's posting up. Kick out, Broski will go baseline. And blocked by Joe Booker, it'll stay with the Spartans. Inbound coming from Dot. Dot to Wake. Wake brings it back out. 3.20 to go. Kiwaskum has fouls to give, but they need to slow the clock down. Wallace. Dabrowski back to Wallace. The hookup tennis. Is looking for cutters, will take it himself. Three minutes to go, spins it out. Here's Broski in traffic, forces it up against the bucket, and the Spartans extend the lead to four. It's officially a two possession game for the first time in what seems like a long time. 248 and counting. Spartans trying to put this one away, and we have a, f a whistle and a full timeout taken by Kiwaskum. The climax is coming up. Don't go away. You're watching high school basketball from the Pfizer Forum on West Bend Community TV. Oh, coming out, let's time out. Kiwaskum going underneath and good defense there by Landon Dot slapping the ball out of bounds. He needs to keep it 2.37 to go, but it's a two possession game, so the Spartans will see if the fouls are coming out here because Kiwaskum has four team fouls this half. They have fouls to give. Inbound coming, Lucas Bauman. Lobs it in and Tennis just took it right away. Two and a half to go. Spartans trying to put this one in the win column. Still got a while to go, and two and a half is an eternity in basketball. We have a foul off the ball by the Spartans. They're going to get Wallace for, for an illegal screen. Wallace, his third, team seventh. His third, team seventh. For the Indians, Tori Ralph. Ralph Bauman. will check back in for Bauman. 2.23 to go, and that gives Kiwaskum a new lease on life. If you get the ball back here as the Spartans score, uh, Kiwaskum score or no, you want to hold it down and take some time off this clock. You do not want to be in a hurry. Mike Daniel takes his dribble. Goes underneath the John Mark Booker. Spin move off Wallace. Salman got the piece of the ball. He went up. And airballed it, but the rebound's brought in by Tory Ralph. Jumper on the way from Ty Cook, and it's good. 154 to go. It's a two-point game. Wallace dribbles it up. Broski looking inside. Ralph.
Roski will bracket up. Kiwaskin being patient, 40 to 38 the score. And we'll see if the fouls begin here shortly as John Mark Booker is guarding awake. Tennis now guarded by Ralph. A minute 20 now. Back out. Wake to tennis. Broski. Spartan trying to take as much time off the clock as they possibly can. Guard her close by Joe Booker. Dot still dribbling. Less than a minute to go. We have a decimal point out there, and finally the foul is put on. Tori Ralph gives the foul. On to one remaining in the contest. Tennis is not the person you want to foul. He's one of the better free throw shooters on this team. And Tennis had his foot on the line. And now Kiwaskum got what they wanted. A chance with the ball to sp and a chance to tie it up yet again. 50 seconds remaining. Cook. Ty Cook with the dribble. Backs it up. 38 seconds remaining. Daniel with the dribble over to Ralph. Ralph tries to go underneath. And we have a kick ball violation against the Spartans. 31.3 remaining. The Indians will maintain possession. It'll be inbounded by Tori Ralph, as you see on the far side of the baseline. Put in Joe Booker with the dribble, picked it up early. Goes to John Mark. John Mark trying to draw a foul. No whistle, but it was last touched by Landon Dot, who was going down through the ball out of bounds. 20.8 remaining. And a full timeout taken. 20.8 seconds remain. The Spartans lead by two. Can they finish? You are watching High School Basketball from the Pfizer Forum on West Bend Community TV. 20.8 seconds remain. Spartans lead by two. Big stop opportunity here. Trying to put it in is Tori Ralph. Throws it in. Joe Booker with the basketball. Clock is running. 16 seconds remaining, and drawing a foul on the drive was Mike Daniel. It should be on the ground, but it'll be a one and one. A chance to tie. They will get Landon Dot for the blocking foul. Michael Daniel at the line. Shooting balls. Mike Daniel goes to the line. Front end is up, and he missed it. Broski fighting for the rebound, but it was knocked out of bounds. Last touch by John Mark Booker. It'll be Spartan ball with 14.2 seconds remaining. If you're Kiwaskum, you have to foul. And we have a timeout called by the Spartans to avoid the five second call. With 14.2 remaining. Spartans are now just minutes away from, seconds away really, from putting this one in the win column. It is just a matter of holding onto the ball. You know the foul's coming and making the free throw. So you want to get this ball inbounded to a better free throw shooter. If you can get it to an Aaron Tennis, you'll be in much better shape. But even getting a free throw out of it, if you can make the front end, That alone will make it a three-point game, and Kiwaskum has not shot the three very much. They've seemed very reticent to even think about it. But just getting the ball on that end of the floor, which is what Kiwaskum will have to do, will be a big help because 14.2 seconds can pass quickly in basketball, but every second counts. Spartans' next game will be at home against Grafton. Fall on the 22nd with East versus West. Spartans the ball. Battle of the Bend on the boys' side. The boys' edition coming up. Ball being batted by Broski. 14.2 remaining. Spartans by two. They get it to tennis. Exactly who they want. The foul is on, and the foul is given. I believe it's going to be Ralph. 
Though it looks like Daniel tried to strip it loose and get a layup real quick. And they're going to get Ralph with a foul. That is his fifth personal and the eighth team foul for the Indians. So Ralph will have to come out. Ryan Cook checking in for Tory Ralph. Ryan Cook checks in. Ralph thought he had one to give. He thought he had only three. Tennis can make a three point game right there. This makes it very difficult for Kawaskum. They'll have to move fast if they want to survive. This is next one is yep. 42 to 38, 10 seconds. Driving it up, Ty Cook. Mike Daniel, and he's out of bounds. Ryan Cook stepped out of bounds with 5.1 seconds remaining. Looks like the Spartans could put this one in the bank if they can just avoid a costly turnover. Put in the Broski, and Broski is fouled with 2.8. Indian foul on Ryan Cook. That's his first team's ninth. Lucas Broski. That is the 19th foul for Key Wascom. And here's the, th the first free throw, and it's in for Broski, making it a five-point game. So it's a matter of playing the 2.8 run down, and the Spartans can put this one in the win column. They'll improve to two and seven. Both their wins coming in non-conference as Broski makes a second one. This one ball's gonna be rolled in. Cook will pick it up and try to launch a three from half court. Off the back rim, and that's it. The Spartans win by a score of 44 to 38. John Elke was the cameraman and producer of this broadcast. I'm Nathan Kerner, but I have everyone here at West Bend Community TV. Thanks for watching, and please tune in for our high school sports all year long. This has been a presentation of high school athletics on West Bend Community TV.